millions go to SeaWorld to get close to killer whales. But then two years ago, the documentary Blackfish appeared. Exposing the darker side of the theme park. The movie tells how baby whales are captured by greedy businessmen. We are only after the little one. They had bombs they were throwing in the water to herd the whales into coves. But the orcas had been caught before, and they knew their young ones would be taken from them. Just like kidnapping a little kid away from a mother, you know, I can't think of anything worse than that. CNN bought that documentary and ran it again and again. All whales in captivity have a bad life. They're all psychologically traumatized. The documentary stirred protests. These people say, free the whales, close SeaWorld. I don't want an industry that abuses them to get a dime of any family's money. SeaWorld is synonymous with cruelty to animals. Blackfish does make the owners of marine parks look like animal abusers. That's hurt SeaWorld, something CNN points out repeatedly. Attendance is down by a million and its stock price has dropped 40 percent. SeaWorld wouldn't talk to the blackfish producers, but they did talk to us. SeaWorld separates whales from their mothers. We haven't done that in 35 years. We have no plans to do it again, and the film implies that we're doing it yesterday. Kelly Flaherty Clark is SeaWorld's head trainer. She says blackfish is completely deceitful. The things that they described just didn't happen. SeaWorld's head veterinarian says this is the life the whales know. 80% of the whales that, that we care for within our parks uh, were born right here. The key difference between what our whales experience over their lives and what killer whales in the wild experience is the fact that there are people there. Our trainers are there working with them every day. Blackfish claims the captive whale's droopy dorsal fins prove the whales are sad and unhealthy. Dorsal collapse happens in less than 1% of, of wild killer whales. We know this. I've never in my 28 years seen the shape of a dorsal fin affect a killer whale's health or well-being, and it certainly is no indication of mood. When it gets warm and it's out of the water more, it starts to take on a new conformation. Why doesn't that happen in the wild? Our whales spend more time at the surface because that's where their trainers are. While the director of Blackfish and others who appear in the film wouldn't talk to us, biologist Lori Marino did. All whales in captivity have a bad life? All of them have a bad life. The wild isn't so perfect. There's competition for space, food, sex, life itself. It's not all perfect, but these animals evolved over millions of years to be adapted to deal with the challenges of the wild, not with living in a concrete tank. They need space. They need a social life. They don't have to do shows and stupid pet tricks. Are you whales being cruelly imprisoned here? The movie Blackfish says whales kept in marine parks are miserable. But how would they know? As the movie points out, we can't ask the whales what they think. Because we don't speak whale. We don't speak whale. We don't speak tiger. We don't speak monkey. No, I don't speak whale. but. I know the whales are doing well because I interact with them each and every day. But how do you know? You can't, maybe they're miserable. They breed, they swim, they play. They anticipate seeing us, they enjoy interacting with us. The vet points out, we know if our pet dog is happy. While I may not know what my dog is thinking when I interact with him, I certainly know that he's happy and that we have a good relationship. But SeaWorld's whales have done violent things. <laughs> An employee is dead after an encounter. This whale, Tillicum, grabbed trainer Dawn Branchot by her ponytail, pulled her under, and drowned her. He never gave anybody indication that he would reach for, pull, and pull something uh, into the water. He killed your friend. <laughs> yes, he did. He, he did not do what he did because he was frustrated. He found himself with a person in his environment, and he was not conditioned the proper way to respond. Another charge for the movie. The lifespans are much shorter in SeaWorld than in the wild. But marine specialists we contacted didn't corroborate that. And as SeaWorld points out. We have a 50-year-old whale living at SeaWorld of San Diego right now. We have whales in their 40s. Our whale's life parameters are the same as whales in the wild. To me, the most upsetting part of the movie is hearing a mother whale cry when her child is taken from her. 
She stayed in the corner of the pool, um, like literally just shaking and screaming. How can anyone look at that and think that that is morally acceptable? But it turns out the film faked that. They added this sad cry. Sound effects that aren't even appropriate to a killer whale. And this footage isn't even of the right whale. This whale doesn't even live in the same city. He has cheated. Has absolutely made up something uh, that would never happen. The level of accusation, the level of untruth that's being brought towards us. Many animal rights protesters want whales free, but that wouldn't work out so well. It would be awful for Tilly if you were to free Tilly. The greatest adventure of the summer. Remember the movie Free Willy? It aroused so much sympathy that Willy was freed. Here a trainer helps free him from his sling. But once freed, wild whales wouldn't allow him in their pods. So Willie kept returning to shore to seek contact with people. Not long after he was freed, he died. Still, even if blackfish is deceitful, it does raise a good question. Is it right to keep animals like these in what are basically cages? What this? Is it okay to imprison animals, wild animals, and gape at them and charge people admission to gape at them? I don't want to pay to see animals in cages. Many people protesting SeaWorld say there should be no zoos. It's very hard to justify them anymore. What if we got rid of zoos? We are affecting kids. And as I was affected in my first experience at a zoo, when a giraffe bent down and I was forever changed as a person, I'm going to work with animals. These kids coming to the stadium are having that experience. SeaWorld uses money from their orca shows to fund animal conservation. The only way we can preserve the animals in the wild is to better understand them. The only way to better understand them, the only way to fall in love with them, is at a place like SeaWorld where you can see them eye to eye. We've had quite an effect on the wild places in this world. The impact that we have on the people that come here is worth billions because they're going to go out and be different people. They're going to care.